Hello, this is Dr. Michael Shear with Learn Locator, a free resource on how to treatment plan, utilize, and maintain locator and locator RTX attachments for overdentures. This video is a clinical technique demonstration illustrating denture attachment procedures employed with locator RTX. The first step is to place blockout spacers lightly on top of the locator RTX abutments. Immediately after placing blockout spacers, the denture attachment housings are placed on top of the locator RTX abutments, slightly compressing the blockout spacers. I find it much easier to take the housing, approach the implant attachment abutment at a 45 degree angle and press. Chair side light body PVS impression material is injected into the intaglio surface of the complete denture. Once injected, the denture is seated back onto the edentulous ridge, ensuring complete adaptation of the denture. Sometimes the pressure of the PVS material can be great, so I have the patient biting down on cotton rolls to assist in complete seating of the complete denture. This procedure allows you to see if there's any contact of the denture to the locator RTX housings. The yellow color of the chair side light body PVS contrasts perfectly with the pink color of a standard complete denture. Using the blue end of a red blue pencil, you can mark any areas that you see pink showing through the yellow portion of the impression material. Any areas of show through is very easily adjusted and modified using the chair side recess burr. The recess burr is perfectly sized both in depth and in width to correspond with the locator RTX denture attachment housings. Taking the burr in a standard laboratory or clinical handpiece, inserting vertically into the denture at high speed will prepare the recess perfectly. The denture is tried back in the mouth, ensuring that finger pressure is used to feel if there's any contact of the denture to the housings. The denture is taken back to the laboratory where the chair side undercut burr is used around the recess preparations to prepare mechanical undercuts. Mechanical undercuts is going to aid in retention of the chair side attachment processing material when doing the attachment pickup. The vent hole burr is also utilized to create a lingual or palatal vent for the attachment processing material to easily vent or flow out through the holes of the lingual or palatal surface of the complete denture. This will minimize any chance of pressure of the denture on the ridge. Chair side attachment processing material is injected into the recesses of the complete denture filling the recesses approximately two-thirds to three-quarters full. Notice that I did not need any sort of primer or bonding agent for this material to properly bond to the denture. Once applied to the intaglio surfaces of the denture, the locator RTX housings are lightly air-dried prior to seating the complete denture back onto the edentulous ridge. Using gentle finger pressure, I'm going to seat the denture onto the ridge, ensuring that I have adequate flow of the chair side attachment processing material out the lingual vent holes. It's important to understand that I use finger pressure only and no biting forces during this procedure to ensure complete tissue adaptation of the denture during the attachment processing phase of this pickup procedure. I can use a light curing unit to cure the chair side attachment processing material. After approximately two minutes, complete polymerization of the attachment processing material is noticed. Notice how firm the denture is to the edentulous ridge and the implants. I instruct the patient that they might feel a lot of pressure during removing the denture. Notice how I carefully remove the denture, ensuring that I'm visualizing if there's any loose materials such as blockout spacers inside of the mouth or on the locator RTX abutments. Taking the denture to the laboratory, I can start to clean up any areas of resin flash in and around the complete denture or RTX housing. The first step is as I take the grind burr. The chair side grind burr is essentially a very specialized round burr that is perfectly suited for trimming any areas of the chair side attachment processing resin in and around the locator RTX housing. Using the grind burr carefully, it removes just the amount of flash necessary without damaging the complete denture. The next step is to take the chair side trim burr. 
The trim burr is perfectly suited for trimming the lingual or palatal portion of the complete denture and especially any areas of vent hole excess. After using the trim and grind burr and cleaning up the denture, I seat the denture back onto the edentulous ridge prior to doing any fine polishing adjustments. This allows me to try the denture back in the mouth to ensure that I've done a proper pickup procedure before doing any fine polishing and tuning adjustments. Now that I've verified that the attachments have been picked up properly, I change the locator RTX black processing males to the blue inserts. At this point, I know that I can put the denture back in the mouth and the patient is comfortable with the retention and stability of her prosthesis. It's important to understand that we should test the retention stability by using our fingers in a back and forth motion as well as the patient up and down. This has been a clinical technique demonstration of the pickup and attachment processing procedures for locator RTX. Thank you for tuning in. This is Dr. Michael Shearer with Learn Locator.